Hi, Dan Romer, for Listen Audio. Here we are at CDA 2023 in Denver, and I'm standing next to the S7T Limited Edition. And this is actually the first uh, time that we've auditioned uh, and had people come and listen to the, the new Limited Edition. So here I'm going to talk about a little bit the technology and what the what the speaker actually is. So as the name implies, the uh, S7. This is uh, an evolution of the S7T, which we've been selling almost three years now. Um, very similar driver layout, but underneath it, it's it's quite a bit different. Um, we've actually redesigned the woofers. We're using the same tech stream uh, diaphragms that we had in the past, but now we've redesigned the motor structure to actually allow 20% more linear excursion. Um, it's actually got lower inductance, quite a bit more heat sinking going on. We've got a special um, copper heat sink on the back side of the uh, of the, the woofer T yoke and actually the air flows past that so there's quite a bit of uh, conductive and convective cooling going on there all in the idea of being able to play uncompressed dynamics along with the woofers the the cabinet is slightly deeper allowing a little more volume um, and the basic outcome of that is compared to an S7T from 80 hertz down to 20 hertz, there's about a 2 dB increase in output capability. And people demoing it here are, are certainly able to hear that, that improvement. Um, going on to the DPC array, the exact same beryllium tweeter, tech stream mids that we use in this S7T currently, but the difference here now is that the, the waveguide is now milled out of uh, aluminum and it's one billet that we cut and then the heat sinks from each mid tweeter mid are all coupled to the same solid aluminum waveguide now acting as a heat sink um, then as we continue down the speaker we've uh, increased the base um, to make the speaker even more sturdy so now we have a about a 50 pound steel base and we worked with uh, our friends at isoacoustics and we adapted their uh, gaia technology for a very specific per listen um, foot, which, which is wonderful in how it damps, um, isolates the speaker from the floor, somewhat decouples it, but also it balances the speaker um, and it has um, in a unique suction cup um, uh, so when you put it on the floor it actually stays in place once it's set so it doesn't slide around when you have big bass notes for example. Uh, moving to the side of the cabinet, probably the most, most obvious cosmetic change is the the radius carbon fiber panels and that's um, that's exclusive to the limited edition um, and that's the only finish that these are um, being produced in. Um, going to the back we have a redesigned input panel where we've created some new binding posts with some uh, lock washers that actually allow the assembly to bare wires um, and binding posts etc cetera, etc cetera, so that the, nothing uh, backs out and slips, slips off. So it's actually uh, new uh, innovation that we've done. It's a subtle change, but it's actually uh, um, quite, quite uh, uh, applicable to the uh, to the design. Um, then I'm, I'm looking at the back of the speaker again, talking about the back plate. What we've done is we created a, a back panel where we um, we're going to be opening them up in the in the headquarters in Verona, Wisconsin, USA. Um, we'll run the Clipple. 360 near field scanner on each individual unit. Then I'll go in and I'll pair match to 0 0.5 dB. Um, once we've done that pair matching, then we sign and serialize each one individually, and then we pack them in their own flight case, and that's how you receive your S7 limited edition. Speaking of limited edition, I didn't even talk about that. What they are is 50 pairs limited internationally, and that's the run uh, once we're done running. We're done uh, making the S7 limited edition, and we'll just continue on with uh, the normal S7T. Thanks again. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, listening to my speech on the S7 limited edition. If you want more information, we'll, we have quite a bit up on our website, perlistenaudio.com, uh, where we have tons of photos and a lot more tech information. Thanks again.